um, it's running the stream and then on mine. Hi, Sharon. Um, on mine, I can see what's actually happening, okay. what they're seeing. So that's why I've started doing that. So then I know if there's buffing or anything like that. Finger condoms. Yes. Ugh. All right. Hi, for those that are here. Yes. Turn off the sound. Um, we'll give it a few minutes and let people come in. Amy's here with me, so say hi, Amy. Hi, everybody. Or hi, Amy. <laughs> she follows instructions good, right? Hi, Delina. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Lena. Um, today we're doing a project um, that Amy is going to be telling me what to do. She knows. She's seen it before. I don't have a clue, which is not unusual. I usually don't have a clue. Um, hi, Kat. Hi, CB. Picola. Hi, Shauna. Shauna said, hi, Amy. Hi. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> hi, Kimberly. Hi, Gail. Oh, gosh. Is Eileen hey, here? Hey, Eileen. Eileen just walked in. Oh, Lord. Tell her she's going to have to close her eyes through most of this stream because <laughs> just about everything I'm doing is pink, purple, or blue. Well, they, you're going to have to bring yours over unless you would rather work on this no, side. No, it doesn't no, matter to no, me. No, I was thinking you work over there and that way I leaned Yeah, because mine's going to be probably because of these. Yeah. I'm using these, no doubt. So mine's going to be primarily blue. Well, maybe she e pissy pink. It's going to be know. gorgeous. Um, hi, Lane. Um, and yes, I've missed. Um, Amy is a pinkish, purplish kind of girl. She loves mobs and I am a girly, sparkly. She is a girly, sparkly girl, which is kind of like the opposite of me, but we <laughs> hit it off good. Gail, this is Amy. Um, she's my neighbor. She's been on before with me. Um, Hi, Gail. I've been a horrible, horrible influence on her. Yes. Hi, Joan. And the hunky UPS guy visits her more than he visits me, which kind of <laughs> makes me a little bit jealous. Um, but, yeah, I, we've just got to share him. And there's plenty of love to go around, so yes. what the hell. Yes. So I hope I haven't missed anybody. Um, we'll just give it a few more minutes. Elaine says she's a foo food girl, too. And she is. She likes sparkly. <laughs> yeah. Eileen said, Amy, if you want to smack Janet, go ahead and do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to smack Janet. I love her. Yeah. See, we're, we're friends. And But Eileen, I have to say, I've really been missing you. And if, if this week hadn't been, um, I don't know, so crazy, I, I kind of last couple of days have gone underground. Um for those of you who maybe weren't at Dee Dee's this morning or don't know, um, my friend Little Mary passed away last Thursday. Yeah, the queen of foo-foo is Xander for sure. Anyway, Little Mary passed away last um, Thursday. I had gone to see her on Wednesday. And so when uh, her daughter messaged me, um, naturally there's sadness but after having just seen her on Wednesday, I was truly thanking God for taking her. Um, hi, Eva. Um, so Mary is now my angel in heaven. And I'm okay with it, you guys. You don't have to feel bad for me. I may be a little weird and unusual in the way that I um, feel about death. I don't think it's um a horrible thing i think it's a passage just like anything else and we all get to experience at some point and so i'm gonna miss her horribly but you have to realize i actually lost mary a couple years ago when the dementia started getting real bad that i think is when um when it was the sadness was the worst for me um because she wasn't my little Mary anymore. <clears throat> so the fact that she's um, gone to heaven, 
um, I'm, I'm really okay with it. And we are having a get together for her this coming up Friday. Elaine's going to come over. Um, Elaine, I did talk to Mary Epler. She, her and Jesse are going to come. People are coming in from, you know, Jan's friends from around the country. And so um, I will tell you guys a weird story. I don't know how you guys feel about life after death or anything like that. But um, it turned out that Thursday I was sitting out on the patio yakking with Dee Dee on the phone. And a cardinal came and sat right on my rock wall. I mean, probably no more than five feet from me. And I said to Dee Dee on the phone, I said, I wonder if that means Mary's past. Just kind of in passing, I just said it to her, you know, because it was just weird for that cardinal to sit down on the porch next to me. And so Dee and I yak, yak, yak a little bit longer. And then I got off the phone and a message had come in while I was talking to Dee Dee. And there is, um, I don't know if it's a wives tale or what legend, I don't know what it is, but that yes. If a cardinal comes and sits by you, that's a loved one coming to visit. Um, <laughs> Eileen said, when I go, you will get a nasty hawk. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow that wouldn't surprise me, Eileen. <laughs> anyway, so I got off the phone, looked at the message, and it was from Mary's daughter saying that Mary had passed right at 10 o'clock. So I turned around and I called Dee Dee back, and I was like, what time did I talk about that cardinal? And um, I think she said right around 10 o'clock, and that was exactly um, when the cardinal had been there. But then yesterday, um, Robert has gone over. They're going to use Little Mary's Cottage um, for some out-of-town guests this week. And so Robert went over to um, trim up the trees and the bushes and just get the outside looking top notch, right? And he didn't tell me till this morning, but he said while he was over there working, of course, he's thinking about Mary because he's, you know, in her yard cleaning up. And um, he said a cardinal came and sat on the edge of his cart while he was working. Hi, Holly. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, anybody I might have missed during that story. So he didn't tell me that until this morning. And the reason he came up to tell me it this morning is when Dee Dee was telling in her stream about Mary, Robert said there's a cardinal sitting on the bottom patio, which is really weird because it's been raining here all morning and there are no birds around. I mean, the birds are pretty much hanging low, laying low, right? But he said while Dee Dee was talking about it this morning, a cardinal came and sat on the patio, which is also weird because it's a covered patio and they normally won't fly underneath something. So it's just weird. Um, so anyway, yeah, just so you guys know, that's what's happened. No need to be sad. I, I'm a okay with it. I'm happy for her that she's gone on. So hi, Kim. Hi, Holly. Um, and everybody believes a little differently, you know, and I don't know if it's true or if it's not true. None of us know. So I'm going with that. Right? Heck yeah. But I know that Mary, she was absolutely so precious. She is sitting in a pl special place in heaven. I promise you. Because she deserves it. Okay. So before we get started on the actual project, I'm going to move this stuff aside. This is all stuff we're going to use for the project. Or I, actually, I got it out for the thumbnail. I don't know exactly what we're using yet. Everything. We're going to use everything. But um, you guys, last week I had finished up the um, calla lily painting and gave it to Amy to take to her mother-in-law's room. So it's hanging in her mother-in-law's room. And I had just done a quick sketch Um and was trying some colors on this one when I was working on that one. So this one's much smaller. It's a little bit different drawing. Um, this one's only, what, six and a quarter by nine. Had you seen that? Yes, had I finished I it? Okay. Yes. Um, so I went ahead and did a, um, a second painting of the calla lilies. So this one I will keep. Um, 
I lean like the first one. The first one, I don't know. There was there was definitely something about it that was appealing. But yes. I had fun doing this one. And this one went a lot faster. I had actually learned something from the first one. So that this one went quite a bit faster. So I did get that done. And then um, I'll show this stuff later. Um, I don't know if Z's here. Thank you, Holly. Um, I'm going to do this for Z because she wrote me last week about she wanted to order a flex nib mm -hmm. fountain pen. And I don't know how much experience Z had, so I was a little hesitant to answer. Um, but it looked like she was actually wanting to do brush lettering. That she was wanting to use a flex nib pen. And flex nib pens can be kind of tricky. Um, and so I was a little afraid to give her a recommendation and set her up in a situation where she was going to be frustrated because the pen didn't work like it was she expected it to, just to make it or than it needed to be. that's just it it was going to be harder than she thought and that's the thing about flex nibs if you go out and watch videos on them people who have vast experience with um, fountain pens still have issues with those flex nibs and the ones that work really 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 good are really, really, really expensive. Um, a, a flex nib is um, <clears throat> just like a fountain pen. Um, well, not exactly like this one, but just like a fountain pen, only when you press down, um, the tines spread apart and the ink flows in between them. So you can get a variation of lines, very, very thin to thick depending on how flexible the nib is and that's what gets frustrating is that unless you're using a ink that is specifically designed um, to flow generously because if you're flexing it you're using a lot of ink so what you'll get is that the tines will carry the ink and the space in between will be blank they call that railroading and there's just a lot of different problems that can happen unless you have a lot of experience and a really good pen so i wasn't necessarily discouraging xandra but i ended up sending her some videos to go watch um because i didn't want to set her up for failure you know so hi kia um so when i realized that probably what she was more interested in doing was um brush lettering i thought man there are some unless you're going to do really fine art to sell there are some good products out there that will get the same results um with a whole lot less effort and cheaper all your nibs are flex the damn ink just comes out all over the place why is that i mean Do you clean them? <laughs> Have you ever cleaned them? Well, I don't know. If you put too much pressure, even really just once, yeah, then it keeps the tines apart, and well, so the ink will just. And that's what I was going to say. On a flex nib, if you um, spring those tines, it's pretty much a done deal. So I told Xandra I would show this on stream, and so I can tell her where to go look. Um, if I was going to recommend, and there, I mean, you can get these brush pens in I, so many different kinds now. You like the cheap pens you steal at doctor's offices. <laughs> well, there you go. That explains pretty much everything right there. Sorry. Anyway, I told Xander I would show her these touch pens. Um, they're really inexpensive, and they've got a rubber nib so that you can get that variation um of line width and so on brush lettering you want a thin upstroke and then a thick downstroke and all you've got to do is apply a little bit of pressure right these to me you can't hardly beat them plus they're inexpensive you can get them in any number of colors so for practice, and that's what he was talking about. Um, 
she wanted to practice. So Z, if that is your goal, practice with these flex nibs because the, the pressure that you're going to use is not going to be the exact amount, but you'll get the idea of light pressure on the upstroke, heavy pressure on the downstroke. Um, so I would say um, if I was going to buy any pen for practice, this would be it. You can, Gail, you just got to practice. Jim Mint 1952 Mantle is dating Amy. <laughs> oh, cool. That's news. I'll let my husband know. <laughs> yeah. Lane's going to love hearing that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so this is what I'm I'm going to recommend. Um, and I know Z has this platinum. Um, have you ever seen this one? Yes. The platinum? Yes. I love this and I love the platinum ink. Um, and that's why it's inked up right, right here. here all the time. But if you wanted to actually draw the letters, now this was working just, of course, it might not want to work on that paper. Some pens are really picky about the paper that they'll write on too. Um, and I believe it's the pen and not the ink. Yeah, sometimes. So, but you can create the same thing, just draw the letter. Well, let me show you the one I did because this pen is really not loving. Oh, no, I've lost it. Never mind. I'm not, I can't show you because I I don't know where it is. Because I made you move all your stuff. Oh, here it is. I mean, those letters are actually just drawn. So you can actually draw the brush lettering, too. But anyway. So, Z, I hope that answered your question. Um, buy the touch pens to practice brush lettering. If you want to do standard calligraphy, get the stub pens. That's And that's what I recommended to her is just get the stub pens um, in four different sizes because then you can do standard calligraphy. So is that like the Pilot Parallel? Yeah, I, that, those were the ones that I mm -hmm. told her that I sent the link for. And really she said, good. well, no, she wanted the flex. And it was like, oh, boy, you don't know what you're asking for, girly. Mm -hmm. And Ian, he likes to use those are I don't know how to say those, but those are awesome pins. The um, Kuretake. Yeah. Um, I think I have one of those. In fact, I know I do. Yeah, I like using those for my The um, Fujinosuke yeah. pens. Yeah, I have those. Um, whether or not they're in here. Let me see. I think they are, actually. I have Tombos. Okay, here's all my brush pens. Well, this isn't all of them, but yeah. it's a it's a good collection. <laughs> Um, that's just one case of them. Yeah, this is just some of them. Um, these I actually got at Daiso. They're really nice. Daiso in um, Australia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not in here, I don't think. But I know I have those, Ian. Yeah, no, that's a Tombow. And this is stupid because you don't have enough time to use all these pens. Yes. When? <laughs> well, it's just knowing you have them. That's it. I oh. have a pen. And I like everything I would ever want to do. Right. DA font. That's one of my favorite websites. I think it's bookmarked on every computer I've had for the last, I don't know how many years. Love it. Which one is it? DA font. Just use DA font on your computer and that way all the letters are great. Well, yeah, I'm probably going to end up looking that up because isn't that the one you use to do yes. your quotes? That, yeah. I yeah. love that site. So there you go. Z, if you have any questions, you can call me, you can WhatsApp me, you can do whatever. Hi, Norma. They're um, touch pens. Elaine, you can get them either at, um, I got mine, I think, at Jet Pens. Um, I can't remember. Oh, they're a Pentel product, Pentel Touch Pen. And they've got the rubber nib. And I got them, I think I got mine at Jet Pens, but I think I looked up later and found out that you could also get them on Amazon. So, but honestly, I like to occasionally go buy something from Jet Pens or Goulet or something like that because if you don't support those um, websites, they're not going to be around. And if, like, for fountain pens and stuff like that, you can't get everything at 
Amazon, you know, the nicer inks, the, the really specialty kind of things that you might want. So you've got to support, you know, it's kind of like supporting your um, local merchants too, you know. Yeah, you can get everything off Amazon, but if you don't support your local merchants, they're not going to be around. So Ian just put in a, a link. Thanks, Ian. I usually look at both, and if they're comparably mm -hmm. priced, I will buy from Play or Jet. But if Amazon is way less expensive, just so I can get more stuff, I yeah, can admit I'm I hear guilty. you. I hear you. Hi, Norma. And then Amy, because she's just the best, brought me down. She showed me these the other day. She sent me a link for them, and she said, "Well, let I'll bring them down and show them to you before you order." Look at the nib on that bad boy. And what did you say about the ink? <laughs> I live for the color of this ink. It's blue black. And for some reason, I just love it. It is very nice. Now, is that in the, the blue and then the brown is the brown ink? Because mm -hmm. I was going to say, you told me one of them had brown ink. Yes, oh, I my see, God. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's hard to find a nice pen with brown ink. I know. Ballpoint. All right. Well, that's gel. Yeah. I'm going to order the whole damn set. <laughs> I know. And the red's well, not bad, but it's not Okay. You sent me the link the other mm -hmm. day, so it should still be in my phone. You need these pens? Okay. We got to tell no. Galena what they are. They're the Pentel Air They're Gel, and it's Clena, C-L-E-N-A. Yeah. Okay. So it's Pentel. Energel, E-N-E-R-G-E-L, and then it's Clena, C-L-E-N-A. And they do come in different nib sizes. You can get, get down to 03. I did I notice that. that. These are the 05, mm -hmm. and I think you could get up to 09, couldn't you? Or 7. Maybe it's it 7, seven 5, and 3. So, hi, Scooby. Oh, Scooby, thank you. You're a penaholic. Oh, my God. You would <laughs> so fit in with me and Amy. I mean, we are. Uh, yeah, beyond. It's beyond hope. It really is. <laughs> we couldn't possibly write with all the pens that we own. Um, yeah, if our life depended on it. Oh, and I forgot to put these in, back in the box. So I'll go in later. All right. And then the other thing is Amy brought me some finger condoms or Midget condoms. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say something about Lane, but I won't. <laughs> well, because then you'd make me have to defend his honor on the live stream. And that's way more information than anybody needs. <laughs> All right. And then, speaking of Zandra, right just moments before mm -hmm. I came online, I had to run out to the mailbox because... Z had told me Friday night, I think, that the Finnabar waxes were back in. So I'm opening my Xandra package. Amy's trying to see here. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to see. Oh, uh, look at. <gasps> oh, that's, that might be perfect for what we're doing today, right? <laughs> that is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. She sent me some napkins. Look at that butterfly. That's so pretty. <gasps> And look at, we talked about seashells just mm -hmm, a minute mm -hmm. ago. Oh, the beautiful napkins. And look at the card she made, the little tag. Aww. Z, not uncommonly, will include a tag in her um, orders. So thanks, as Aww. always. Enjoy. That and is the adorable. Teddy bear, he's cute. And then she wraps it in pretty tissue. So pretty. Eileen, you're going to be happy. You're going to be happy for me. You already have them all, so. I got four. Oh, look at you. <laughs> look at tissue paper. I know, isn't that beautiful? That's pretty. Is that joggles? Maybe that's the tissue out of a joggles package. I don't know. But I went ahead and ordered a few more of the waxes. Amy got a bunch of them. Oh my gosh, Amy's really got a bunch of them. Z's tissue is like joggles could be. So I ordered the, I would, I set out to get the vintage gold and the bronze age. And then she had these as well, which is sweet rose, which is one you got. Yep, yep. And then I got the Indian pink. Mm -hmm. yep, Did you get that one? Yeah. Okay. 
So, yeah. And then I guess I played with all those ones that you. Except for the new ones. I got Peacock. And then oh, we, we have to see the peacock. Yeah. And, and the sweet rose I did not have the other day. I just got in. Okay, well, we're going to open mine. So. I got the ruby. And I got the old denim that you already have. And I got peacock. So these are the two. No, you get to open them. Okay. I felt bad opening your other ones. I, I will cut myself. Okay, I'll <laughs> open them so she doesn't cut herself. And the ruby's the old kind, but I just had to get the color because... What's the old kind? It's just old. the old packaging? Yeah, I think so. Before they, and it's an old color. They don't, didn't make that color in the new Oh, okay. Set. Where did you order yours from? Bubbles. Okay. Use your new condoms. I'm going to, Eileen. I'm so excited. I'm ready. Yeah, Eileen, or Amy's already got her condoms on. All right, let's put on a condom and see what we can do. I'm so excited. I can't think. Enabler alert. Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> I'm going to say I might have to call Robert to come over and show me how these work. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Look at what Amy brought me, honey. Midget condoms. <laughs> Midget condoms. <laughs> Midget condoms. Midget condoms. Oh. <laughs> you behave. There are people all over the world listening, Robert. <laughs> All right, so this is the I other pink that you had. <laughs> we bought extra large. I know you're probably used to the extra small, but you'll get over it, bad boy. <laughs> you walked into it. You should just be careful what you're saying around me, and you know that. All right, so I saved the one. Okay. Yeah, these are all the colors that, these are the three colors I have. Those are the ones that you let me open the other day. And now I've got, so, so I've got all those colors now. So this is like the darker pink one. See, loving both of them. And it smells good. Doesn't it smell good? I know they do. Yeah, those are really, really pretty together. You believe doctors say cough when using them? <laughs> That's pretty. Uh -huh. So you have that one have already. That, yep. All right. I'm gonna wipe off my finger. This is the ones I was really the vintage gold and the bronze. And Eileen's going, oh my god, I already have all of them. <laughs> I don't think she has yet. Give her a minute. Look at that. Oh wow. Oh, it smells almost like hot chocolate. Mmm, that gold is really nice. Really, really nice. Now I'm going to have to look and see if they have a silver. Dang it. I hadn't even thought about that. Okay, now this one, I don't know why, but they've got it wrapped in plastic in addition to the outside packaging. I don't think any of the others had that. Mm -mm. Probably figured it was an unnecessary step. I don't know. Oops. Oh, wow. This is more brown. Mm -hmm. Darker. I like that. I do too. <gasps> oh. Yeah, this is going to be nice. That is. This is way nice. Okay, way nice. Way okay. nice. Okay, oh. she's saying we would really like to see the colors. Pull the damn paper up. <laughs> All right, there's the gold and the bronze. Oh, you can, that doesn't do it justice. The bronze is just gorgeous. Yeah, that it is. They're both just awesome. Awesome. Oh, Z, I'm going to be so poor, but I love you. Yeah, you've got that one on the front already if you don't want to do it. Again. Oh, that's right. 
So this one is the Indian pink, which Amy let me open. It's this red one here. Your white paper is barely in the picture frame. Okay, I'll have to pay closer attention. I'll pull it closer to me. Put this this way to give you more room. If you want, you can. Well, wait, it's it's hooked oh, up here okay. too. But you can, um, yeah, yeah, it can go quite a ways actually. Okay, so those are the four that I got: the red, gold, bronze, and then the I don't know. It's more pinky pink. I don't know. Mm -hmm, sweet rose. All right, so now let's go ahead and open Amy's. Because since I've opened all her other ones, I might as well open all her stuff. That's a good trend. All right. This one is the old graphics. And do they not carry this color anymore at all? I don't know. I mean, they had it on Joggles, and I just saw it. Oh, my gosh. Look at I know. How could you not? So I don't know if it's wow. even the same as the other, but just the color. I couldn't not do that color. Oh, wow. See? This one is really weird. It's almost like it's a mixture of bronze and red. See how the brown kind of goes? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's neat. Now, and it smells just good like the others. Oh, baby, baby. So we're going to find some little tins or something so I can give you half that stuff. Um, I think I have some. I didn't look after I said I was going to look the other day. I didn't. I don't know. I probably got sidetracked. That is a really nice color. Do you need these? Well, I'm not sure, Galena, um, because I just, I have to have everything. Um, if I was going to buy one, Maybe do either the gold or the navy blue. The blue, the dark blue, you'll definitely use it, in my humble opinion. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that is nice. Is oh, my God. But you can use them on so many different um, substrates. I mean, this is going to colorize metal, um, paper. Really, you can use this on anything. It does take a little while to dry, so you've got to set it aside um, so it doesn't rub off on other stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I know everyone is just almost better than the one before. Don't eat it. No, I was smelling. <laughs> I wasn't eating. <laughs> See, when you're doing mermaid -y oh, stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah. For mermaid stuff, that with the light green. Ah. Oh, that is gorgeous. Are they kind of like gelatos? No, not anything like gelatos. Other than, well, they're much creamier, obviously. Um, I, of course, I'm a bad one to ask about gelatos because I wouldn't give you a nickel for all the gelatos. Hi, Kim. Um, I really wouldn't. I would, I've would. i never been a fan of gelatos. Gelatos are water-soluble. Um, have you ever even, tried them? I've never even used them because I just never heard anything good about them. Well, and I would have to say, and you'll probably see people, yeah, Eileen, first one to pop up and say mm -hmm. gelatos are pure crap. And that's what I hear. Um, yeah, these are nothing like gelatos. They're they're waxy, pigmented, lusciousness that you can use on almost anything. So I don't know. Before I started investing in a bunch of them, I would get one, see if it's something that you would be interested in using. Um, I'm obviously going to use them um, mixed media, um, but I have never, from the day I got my gelatos, I've never used them. The first time I used them, I thought, what the hell is this? And how are you going to use it? The one thing about gelatos is they um, they have that fat um, tube that they come in and you can't ever get into small places. I don't know. I just don't see what the benefit the only of way them is. I ever saw them used that I thought I would be interested in is she used like a putty knife 
blade, you know, okay. And she would roll a little bit up, just, I mean, a very little and scrape it off. And then she would use that to smear it across a stencil. There's so much other stuff that's easier. Exactly. Why would you do that? And to use them up, maybe, yeah. but otherwise I can't see any, re you know. Yeah, and exactly. Eileen said they're like furniture wax in great colors. That's exactly mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Yep. And they dry. And I think, well, we'll try right here. But when they dry, I'm almost certain they're permanent. We're going to try because the electric violet and these colors. Yeah, see, they repel water when they're dry. So they're not the least bit water soluble. Um, but you can move them, you know, while they're still moist. Kim, they are awesome. They are awesome. And then after they're dry too, they don't rub off. Like they're, when they dry, they pretty much stay put. Probably don't even need, um, to put any kind of varnish or anything over them. I think they just, when they're dry, it's a done deal. All right, so Amy's gonna explain to us. So Xander, thank you for the napkinage, um, getting my order here so damn promptly. Um, let me do a quick um, advertisement for Z. I think I left one of her cards here. Okay, Xander's um, online store is Paint and Paper Studios. I would highly recommend visiting um, her shop. She's got things that um, I guess you can find at other places, but yeah, Z Shop, it's just so easy to navigate. And she offers 15% off all products every day. Um, and her shipments are fast. Like when you order from Z, I ordered Friday night and it's here Monday morning. So, hi, Ashley. So, yeah. And the only thing about the Paint and Paper Studios. color of the wax, it's hard to find. Okay. And that's one thing Xander did say. And um, Amy just confirmed. Some of the colors are very, very popular. And they're um, back ordered. Thank you, Eileen. Um, and the Peacock apparently is one that is really, really hard to find. And it's I asked Z for Amy. And she said, yeah, some of them are back ordered as long as august is that what i told I you so it was a long time. yeah so yeah and i think that was all i had to show and i've already got a huge mess here and we haven't done a darn thing yet can you imagine well that's okay messes are good so amy brought me down this journal that we're going to work in one of the things we're going to do at some point I think we're going to do that next time is we are going to go ahead and decorate the outside of these journals. Is there a purple color? Of the wax? Yeah, there was the electric violet. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I just showed it. There's the electric violet, which is a dark purple. And then is there a, a, like a lilac or anything that you remember? The, um, the Heather Hills is supposed to be a light purple. Oh, it's it, not. It reads more. I would say that's much. rose. Yeah, rose. Yeah, that's more rose so, colored. Um, and I'm sure there are others. Um, yeah, go on the, the Joggles website. I'm pretty sure. Okay, Eileen's saying do a thin cover on that journal. Do a what? A thin cover. Um, this is what Amy bought to cover, to decorate it with, like kind of like a mermaid scale um, that we can cut or do something with. But we're going to do that next time. Today we're going to do one of the inside pages. Do you know where you saw? what we're going to do? Yes. It was a lady online. Okay. She's going to look it up. You have that same tape. It's really pretty, isn't it? And it looks good with this journal. So I don't know if I'm going to do, I don't know what I'm going to do, but now Eileen's saying do a thin cover. So I'm going to have to do, go research thin. I've seen a lot of thin stuff, but mm -hmm. I'm not, all right. Yeah. Um, go here. It's Amber K Creative. Okay, Amber K Creative is where she saw the project that we're going to do today. So we're so, kind of following it loosely. We're following it loosely. Okay, so um, you start out with a page from your favorite book. 
and Amy said, what's your favorite book? She was going to print something out for me or something. It was just like thinking, thinking, thinking. It was like my mind was just buffering, buffering, buffering. Like, I don't know. I have so many favorites. I don't know how you would pick one. Well, and like you said, if you print it, mine may smear, but I didn't have a copy of my favorite book that I was willing to tear a page tear out of. And see, I'll, I'll tear up a book. What journal is that? This is, believe it or not, this is from Walmart. No, we, Amazon. I got. Oh, you got these from Amazon. Yeah. Okay, well, but bucks. um, okay, but you can walk into your Walmart right now and find these same sorts of journals. Um, this was four bucks. Four bucks. But you wow. Only, you could only get one. Okay. She bought it on Amazon, but you could only get one. So how did you get two? Did you lie and say you're lane or something? No, because if you go on Amazon, they've got their daily deals. Okay. Page, and they were just like. A bunch of different brands okay that had basically the same journal but it's got a different brand name on it okay so you could get one of these and one of these okay i get it so this one actually is called art fan it's kind of an ivory paper um nice thick paper um with dot grid but i bought something really similar to this on at walmart right mm -hmm. yes yeah so go check walmart ours was on the pen aisle um, we've been back there several times. <laughs> yeah. Maybe more than once. Yeah. And then went to Hobby Lobby too. So it's, it's a nice little journal. It measures five, I'm going to say five and three eighths, between five and a quarter and five and three eighths and eight and three eighths for four bucks. You can't hardly beat that, right? So what we're going to do, well, this is kind of nice. It's got uh, like an index in the front, content I don't know, page. I don't know if that one has it, but in the back, and this one, it's got the little pouch. Yeah, it's got it. a little pocket back here. Oh, look at that. I'm going to put all my secret stuff in there. There you go. I'm going to put my finger condoms in there. <laughs> my midget condoms. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to leave all that in front empty. And if you have like... Um, fear of starting in a journal, leave the first few pages empty and that fear will go away. Yeah, it is a great price for that journal. So anyway, so um, what's the first thing we're going to do, Amy? Well, I'm going to get something, some pages to put between um, behind mine so I don't glue everything together. Oh, okay, here, I have some deli paper. Or these, um, let's use these books, the glue books that we okay, used yeah, the other day, because yeah. I get these in the mail constantly. Yep, cool. So that's a good thing There's to use them for. Some out in here if you want a couple of these. Yeah, I can rip some out of this one. I just got another one the other day. Okay. I wish they'd put this money back in my investment and put sent in all these damn books. Right. Make me some money. Are you being logical over there? Well, yeah, because I'm going to run for office. Oh, well, that, <laughs> that rules you out right away, lady. Okay. Okay, so. Ta -da. Now I'll try not to glue everything together. Yeah, so we'll do this because we're going to use matte medium on them. <clears throat> I want to try this one because I've never used this one before. And the um, she's using gel medium. I'm going to use matte medium. Um, but I, I got her some matte medium out if she wants it. I think I'm going to trim. I'm going to, I just, um, I have a set of encyclopedias from um, Robert's mother when she was a kid. But they've been water damaged. and But they're totally cool books. This is what the book looks like. I mean, it, yeah. you can tell this bad boy's been around for a hundred years. I know it's awesome. Well, his mother would be a hundred next year. So yeah, so these are old, old, old books. And I've just started ripping into them and I took the, the section of Butterfly out. So I like the coffee one too. <gasps> oh, but it's front and back. Never mind. Okay, I'm doing the butterfly page. So yeah, I couldn't donate those books. There's nothing I could do with those books. So I figured they're going to make great um, art journaling pages. I'm going to trim these down, I think. 
<sighs> I'm just not sure the size well, that I, I want to. I did water around the edges of mine, so whenever I tore it, it was kind of. Okay, good idea. Amy's got a good idea. You can donate one. I'll I'll rip out some pages, Shauna, and send it to you. Because I've got several volumes. Do you need water? I don't think so. I think this is going to probably rip really easily because this pa mm -hmm. paper is somewhat um, fragile. Right. That's why you got to glue it down. I mean, I wouldn't fold it and think that it's going to remain intact like this. Yeah, it's just not going to do that. That is awesome paper. It is nice paper. And actually, I sat and read one of them one night. They, they're really good. I mean, you can really learn out of these old books, you right. know. Well, except they don't teach anymore. Because Probably, yeah. But I did read that I think it was the entire state of Texas is um, going to start teaching cursive writing again. <laughs> well, darn, there goes my evil plot to be able to be sneaky and nobody know. <laughs> All right, look at when you tear it out just at the edges, it's just perfect That's for this. Awesome. Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. This kind of makes my finger feel like it's hurt or something and that I shouldn't be bending it and <laughs> using it. <laughs> All right, so this one. And on this side, I just picked the butterfly page, and it's got information, questions on a butterfly, um, and then a butterfly um, poem by Wadsworth on it. So it's just as good as maybe a fav yeah. favorite kind of book. All right, I'll ask you guys a question. How many wings have butterflies? What? How many wings have butterflies? How many but how many wings does a butterfly have? No, it no. says how many wings have butterflies. Oh well, that's proper English. Okay, well then that just goes to show how dumb I am. But it's four hundred and nineteen is the answer. And then into how many stages or periods may the life of a butterfly be divided? It did, doesn't give the answer. How many moths does it live in a worm like? How many months does it live in a worm-like form? Some of them, it doesn't have the answers. So if I ask the questions, then I'm going to look stupid when I don't know page? them. Well, it probably wants you to read the information and then, um, oh, so it's like a and be able to answer it yourself. Gotcha. All right, that one's a little bit long, so I'm going to yank this bottom part off. Not reading chat. Sorry. Okay, so we'll start by matte medium, those pages down. And I should be able to catch up with Amy pretty easy now. Oh, yeah, because I'm 419. I know, CB, I don't know what, that, what they're talking about. Okay, here's a um, glass of water. You can put that brush in if you want to try and save it. Oh, yeah. Save it for a glue mm -hmm. brush, though, so yeah. you're not using a new one every time. Oh, yeah. Oops. I might have got a little bit carried away with the glue, but... I know I did, but it's okay. I'm addicted. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Yeah. I hate for it to start popping up after I get it down. Well, and you'll put more on when you put the napkin on top. Yeah. So there will be layers. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm just going to smush yeah. this down. And technically, you're supposed to dry this between... The matte medium dries so quick, I don't think we need to. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. Now, the gel medium, I'm mm -hmm. not sure if you need my heat gun. Um, well, I've never done this before. I've never used this before. And I'm wondering 
And you're using what, Liquitex? Yeah, matte gel. gel. Matte gel medium. And I'm just using golden matte medium. Which the effect is the same at the end, so it doesn't matter. And I don't know how fast this stuff dries as in like on my brush. Am I going to need to keep it in water between? Go ahead and throw it in the water, yeah. And I'll just hand you one of my rags and then you can dry it off in between. Because it does dry really quick, so there's no point in ruining the brush. Mm -hmm. That you can keep to use on future glue projects. Okay. I'm pretty much getting caught up with Amy. She started before me because I was talking a lot, which is what I hardly ever do. <laughs> now, on yours, can you tell, do you have, can you see brush marks on yours? Yeah, but it's okay because of the texture. And okay. where I put the, um, the napkin over the top, my napkin has kind of a, what is it, a rosebud ticker or something. Okay, yeah, she's got the cutest napkin I'll show you guys here in just a minute. And I've got to pull the back off of my, one of my napkins. Um, but she's going to have to show me what to do with it, so. Well, I think you want to know what to do with it. Um, and the reason I asked about the brush marks is one of the nice things about Golden Map Medium, mm -hmm. um, and I'm not necessarily trying to do an advertisement for them, but I do love this about them. Um, I'm trying to get this back in frame. Well, I'll have anyway, to wait until this dries, too, to see if you can still see the brush marks once it's dry. That's what I was going to say. But because it's a little bit thicker, I'm guessing you probably will be able to. And if you put it on thicker, it's probably yeah going to um, show that much more. The good news um, is it didn't smear my... Oh, that is good news. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the heat gun out so that we can share it. In fact, I'm just going to move this whole thing because it's just in my damn way. <laughs> oh, oops. Game fell. Nothing's hurt. But it can't leave here, so it's got to sit up there. Because it's got to um, stay, stay plugged in. My original fire that I've had for a thousand years, uh -huh. um, it's battery doesn't work. Uh -oh. So it has to stay plugged in all the time. But it's okay because I bought a new one. <laughs> <laughs> now I have two that I use all the time. All right. Untangling cords. <laughs> I'll let you dry yours first while I get the backing off the um of your napkin napkin but this is the napkin I chose Amy just brought it down um I love this blue so <clears throat> Did you order these napkins somewhere? Amazon. <laughs> God, you buy everything off Amazon. I, I need to look for stuff. Well, I don't I look for Bobby stuff Lobby. like that. I get a lot of stuff online at Bobby Lobby. Oh, that's reminds me. We need to show that thing you ordered. And it looks like the, the brush marks are going away as it dries. Okay, good. All right, set this aside. Oh, the bath is going to come off really easy. And these are three ply, so. Yeah, they come off really, really easy. Is one napkin going to be enough? Um, it depends on the size of the napkin and how you want it to look. Okay. Because you may need two to get the design the way you want it. Now, the one I got over here is a lot bigger. So, one. It's Some funny. moths are so colorful we get mistaken for butterflies. I mean that. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to cut it in half so that 
I can decide on the direction of the butterflies. All right, so do you, I think I'm going to tear it so that you can see this paper behind it because I love the paper behind it. Yeah, well, and that's kind of what I was saying. I was going to use this napkin, but the more I look at it on this particular page, I think I'm going to go with the other one because it has more white. Well, I have a bunch of napkins yeah. too. If you want to use those ones that I got the other day, you're more than welcome. Well, I have these right here. <laughs> Yeah, Amy nice. and I, believe it or not, bought the exact same napkins, but we weren't together at the time. Like, she brought them down to me, and it was like, holy crap, I bought those exact same napkins. What is it? We're sisters from a different misters or something? Yeah. So, I don't know if I want to do, you know, like, put the whole thing on there or just put pieces on. What do you think? Well, I was looking at... That's what I was thinking, because I've got this ply that has nothing on it. I may use part of one of the decorating things and then do the rest in. Okay, that's actually a pretty good idea. Ta-da! Thanks, Janet. Let me show them your napkin because it's so dang cute. Look at this napkin of hers. Paris with the bike. And the book page she's using is out of Little Women. No, Little actually, Women. This one is Princess Bride. Oh, well, now you turned around and made me a big fat liar. Well, I brought both. Oh, I okay. wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah, so look at that. That's so cute. I like the bicycle a lot. Yes. Well, I have plenty. I'll leave half with you. Yeah, because see, I'd have to use two napkins. Use as many as I you think need. what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the moths on either corner and then the flowers in the opposite corner. What do you guys think? Hi, Colorful Life. All right, I got to take this jacket off. It's getting a little warm in here. Are you comfortable enough? Do I need to turn the air conditioner up or down? No, 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 no. You, okay. you keep it however. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Because I was going to say I could use the white too. So you can kind of see the... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to cover the whole thing with the white and then just use elements of the napkin mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but i'll go ahead and and cover the whole thing because you can also in white on the white you can do stencils or stamps or you know whatever you want to do yeah i think i'm just going to put it down first what do you think mm -hmm. and you don't okay. have to use the napkin on top of it at all if you don't No, want i want to i that i love this blue nap mm -hmm. blue butterfly all right I'm going to go ahead and cover over the book page. Um, with the white, so it'll be in the background, um, but not necessarily in your face. Here's a rag. Thank you. Yeah, um, we talk English at this stream because um, we don't have the ability to translate. So um, if we don't know what you're saying, go ahead and hide your your comments. So if you don't want that to happen, English, please. I was going to try and keep things away from the spine, but I think I'm not going to care. And if it gets wrinkly, I don't care. I actually like the wrinkly. Yeah, it makes a little textury kind of. Yeah, but it kind of pushes that book page into the background a little bit. So mm -hmm. that's cool. And you can't brush really hard on these um, napkins. Right. They'll tear like so easy. It's not even funny.
And with the matte medium, the golden especially, you have to work fast because it does dark, dry really, really quickly. And right there where I've got that glob of it, it's bound to tear. And you guys, it's still raining in Oklahoma. I have never, I was telling Amy, I've lived here 20 years. Honestly, I have never seen a more rainy, wet summer in all 20 years that I've lived here. It's just endless. And the lake is going down, but it's going down really, really slow. Yeah. And then it'll rain a little bit more. Yep, and then we'll get more rain. So, and we actually last night, from what I saw, there was um, a big storm that went up in the watershed. Oh, I should have made sure this unglued. Hang on, got to get the sheet doing? off. I'm gluing my sheet to my journal. Don't want that. I think that was my phone. <clears throat> Okay, better. We had two months of rain in one week this week. Well, it's about that bad here, Ian. I mean, I know we have absolutely beat every record that has ever been set for the state of Oklahoma for moisture. But the sad thing is probably what will happen is when it stops, I mean, it's going to stop and then we won't get rain for months. Right. And the farmers, I'm sure, are already having difficulty because my garden isn't growing for crap. I mean, my tomatoes are turning red, even though we haven't had that much heat. But I'll bet you $1,000 they're not going to taste worth a darn. So, yep. Farmers all over the country are really, really suffering. I'll trim this up better later. All right, sweet pretty. I'm going. All right. Get it to the farm. All right. Call me. Um, I mean, I don't care what time you get home, but just call me and let me know so um I can figure out what well, I'm gonna feed if you. I'm there for a while. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Like nice. it if you're gonna be there past dinner time or something. It's looking pretty unanimous here, no one others. <laughs> That's um. Robert had a, a woman that worked for him that always used words wrong, and that was what. What was her name? Mary Kay, Mary Beth. I don't know. Anyway, rather than say um, it's looking very ominous out, she'd say it's very. It looks very unanimous out. So when he uses wrong words like that, he's probably. Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Um, copy and Mary Jane. All right, yeah, I'll see you later. All right, hon, see ya. Okay. I'm off All right, be careful. All right. Okay, I'm going to tear this. Yeah. Um, napkin out and just use pieces of it. I set these doors out here in the breezeway just in case. Okay, thanks, son. Oh, isn't he sweet? He is. Don't tell him though. He'll expect special favors. <laughs> uh, that's so funny okay I'm going to make noise because I'm going to dry this get right on it and I'll show um, Amy's here in just a minute noisy noisy
to do this before I dry it to the paper that I don't want it to stick to, right? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Here's what we're doing right now. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down before I change my mind. Yeah, I love this napkin. Love it a lot. And these napkins are actually tougher than a lot of them you get. That's a lot. That I can see some places where I use too much. Yeah. But when it's dry, you'll never notice. Yeah. It'll be so dry. it'll be fine. I'm falling down the page. <laughs> Leave it to Eileen. All right. Now, um, I'm not sure if I want to add any more or just leave it like that, kind of like a frame on the page. I think that looks beautiful. Because now we can add paint, stencils, stamps, pretty much anything. Um, put up the other way. You don't think it should be coming down? You think it should be going up? No. Because look, the flowers are going down. Too late now anyway. But I can add more. Should I add some more? Do a butterfly or whatever in the middle or I actually have other butterfly napkins and the reason I was excited to see Xandra's napkins is she sent me a butterfly one these really colorful ones would have been really pretty put put over the whole oh, page uh -huh. too ah, so hard being me <laughs> Kim saying no up 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 too late I can't change it now you think I could honestly pull that butterfly up? No way. Can't do that. That is so not going to happen. But what I'm wondering is if I want to put, like, another butterfly coming in off the edge. Or flower. Yeah, let's do the whole edge. What the heck. All right. We're going to go ahead and use these other two panels of the um, napkin. Because butterflies fly in any direction, Eileen. They don't yeah. always have to be up, 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 right? Yeah, Eileen. You guys are so funny. <laughs> uh, Does it, okay, I'll put this down where she can see it and get permission before I do anything else. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, see, I don't really want to cover that one. I don't like necessarily the black. So she's yelling at me. I sure, I'm sure. Uh -huh. I just can't read right now. Well, you don't do anything to make her so mad that she won't let me come play anymore. Okay. I won't misbehave too terrible. All right. See, I'm thinking put the flowers going up. Yep, yep, yep. And save the butterfly. I have to make some more noise. I'm sorry. It's all right. All right, I like that. That is so pretty. Napkins are gorgeous. Well, and it went with those pages just perfectly. I know. Sometimes you just luck out. See, we talked about it and planned in the morning, and then it just fell together right at the end. But I didn't know you had these blue butterfly napkins either. Well, blue and butterflies is a big change. <laughs> You can't even really tell where they overlap, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's quite cool. All right. Now I'm wondering, do I want to use any more of this? See, I'd really just have the two butterflies, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's see if there's any of this that I might want to use. Yeah, I, I'll go ahead and, and frame it with this other pieces of napkins that have nothing to do with anything. Um, when you glued there in the middle, you're making sure that your book is going to close, right? Yeah. You're keeping that crease? Okay, good. Yeah, this stuff definitely takes longer to dry. I kind of thought it would. Just because it's thicker. I mean, it yeah. stands to reason that it would. I just wonder if it's going to make it hold better. I've never had any trouble with um, the Golden Map Medium holding oh, anything. The texture, though. Well, there's always that. So, yeah, I get, I'm not sure. Maybe somebody in the audience can tell us what would be the advantage of using, um, the gel medium over just the um, liquid matte medium. I, I don't know that I can um, give a good answer for that. Well, obviously, if you're concerned with time, don't use this stuff. <laughs> yeah, because she's saying the gel medium is taking a lot longer to dry. See, I'm not even drying mine. And um, it's not creating a problem for me. Well, and I also probably used way more of this than I needed to use, but I've never used it before. And so I erred on the side of, eh, better have to have too much than not, than not enough. enough. And I would be the same way. So, yeah, live and learn. We're not in a rush here. No. And this is the first time I've done this. So it's just a learning kind of have fun sort of. Of course, now i got to see what it's going to take to get this stuff off my fingers because I think I'm wearing oh. it as much as. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother deal. Remind me, to, when you wash your hands, uh -huh. there's a bar of soap in the bathroom that Kathy Berg sent me. Um, and we've got a craft scrubby. Okay. So that'll help get it off. But yeah, when you get matte medium on your hands, yeah, it takes a while. Mm -hmm. But it balls up. You know, like if you leave it, you can ball it up. Yeah. yeah. Like boogers on your finger. <laughs> which I'm sure you're really excited about. Well, since I was just griping about not wanting to get yeah, my fingers. And, um, let's see. Um, 
Eileen says she likes the matte medium because the gel is so thick. Yeah. Yes, yeah, CB's mm -hmm. saying, tell Amy it's fun to peel off. Gel yeah. is thicker. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know that they're... Okay, Eileen just said, gel is good for adding metals and stuff like that. Gotcha. So you're right that probably the glue um, aspect of it is going to hold better, mm -hmm. but it does take longer to dry. And I used to have some Liquitex. I used might have been that exact same jar you had. Is yeah, that, is that Liquitex? Think, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for what we're doing here... I think that probably would be the better. Yeah, because, I mean, it soaks right mm -hmm. through the napkin, mm -hmm. so it's not like you, we're going to have any trouble with it yeah. not wanting to stick. Well, yeah, and this is definitely wanting to stick. And this is so handy good. when you put it in one of the – I put it yeah. in a um, dishwashing bottle mm -hmm. to dispense, and um, this was Sunset Carol's idea to put it in a um, dishwasher bottle to dispense and um oh my gosh it's just the easiest thing ever do you need this um no i oops i almost knocked over that table um no i'm trying to decide what i want to do well maybe i should um what i want to do next i want to make sure this doesn't glue together that's one thing all right All righty. Oh, I could have just handed it to you by the not hot end. What do you, um, I like the gel for thicker papers and a matte medium with napkins and tissue papers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there you go. Um, heat gun. What do you want to do next? Do you want to do some stenciling, stamping? I think I'm going to do the edges. Oh, okay. Do you want to do that with like napkinage or paint? Um, you can either do paint or wax. Oh. Now, see, you don't have to because you wax. put that around. Yeah, oh, I'll, I'll do the edges. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what. Maybe depending, I might add some brown at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And then do the edges in brown so it's real vintage. I'm um, thinking since I've got kind of that tilly peacocky color oh on the that would be pretty the peacock, peacock. Around the edges. yeah you got to do that so that's kind of where i'm going. that's what i would do um you know another thing if you don't mind of course you have all the napkin left right don't you because you only use one yeah. panel of it mm -hmm. you know what i would do what? you do what you want but just to cut, maybe balance the page and use the elements more than once i think i would either cut out the paris Mm -hmm. or cut out the flowers that are yeah. on the bike and put it down in that lower left-hand corner. Mm -hmm. You do what you want. Okay. Um, I'll show you Amy's in just a second, okay? She's going to add something first, and then we'll show hers. Exactly. Because right now, you know, like, I feel like mine's fairly balanced. Like, I don't have yeah. to. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I think as you do art, you kind of get a, a feel for is mm -hmm. where's my balance and how do I fix it now? threw away a lot of that napkinage and I could have used it in my little three ring binder, my mini binder. I have a whole package of napkins. But we have to save them. We have to hoard them. <laughs> Mine too. All right, this is drying really good. I think I want to add some brown element. So... Okay, Eileen, this is probably true, what you just typed. Eileen says, do what you want, Amy, but remember, Janet will say, if you would have listened to me, okay, <laughs> here's the truth of that whole statement. The only reason I would even have those kind of thoughts in my head mm -hmm. is because I hang out with Eileen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because, see, she would say that to me later on. If you would have listened to me, if you did not put that butterfly on it upside down, 
believe me, I know all the tricks. I know the tricks, girl. Oh my god. All right. This is damp, but it's probably dry enough to go ahead and work on. So down here it's pretty wet. All right, just trying to decide if I want. I kind of wish I had, and I, I do have, but I'm, I wasn't planning on coloring or doing anything. Um, these blue flowers around the edges kind of remind me of iris, the um, Dutch iris. Okay. Um, put one of those over the type on this side. I mean, I don't want to obliterate the type completely. English, please. No translator here. Yeah, Eileen's just booting them. We have a lot of um, trolls today, don't we? I wonder why I'm a troll magnet. Well, I am. As we say, always have a lot of trolls. I think it's because they've heard that I occasionally use dirty words. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. I'm going to straighten up the camera maybe pull it down a little um just thinking here what i want to do to add the brown mix some brown in if i want to do do your new bronze wax i'm going to do that on the edges but <laughs> okay. what i'm thinking um i'm going to get one of these background stamps you're fine move? you don't have to move I, they're all at the top because we can use any of these as well that was one thing I did this weekend was get all those stamps mm. put in. Oh wow! The CD containers. Aren't so you organized? I really felt like I had accomplished something because I've literally been putting that off for months. They've been collecting up in that kids' room, but now I got to get the kids' room ready for, um, yes, Courtney. Mm. So yeah, just trying to decide. I'm thinking. I love circles. Love me some circles. But maybe this just to add some brown. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. that in the background. Or this cracker one. Cracker one is always nice. I don't want script because I already have the type on the background. Right. And you don't want too much because you don't want to completely cover it. Yeah. Those are nice circles too. But that one, all right, this is the one. I've never even used this one. When I do don't know where I got it. The wax, do my edges need to be completely dry before I put the wax on? You're probably going to want to, yes, I would think. But I'm going to have to make it look like this. You don't want it to resist. Right. So, yeah. All right, I've got a way of adding the brown now, so... I'll get out this and the brown stamp pad. I really like that one though too. Oh, it's so hard. Ah, let's put let's use this one. It's never been used before. All right, I want to cover. Where is what's this? Oh, that's my receipt from Xander, which I don't need. Just adding some in. Yeah, that's cool. That kind of looks like kind of honeycomb. Yeah, and that's why I thought if I um use that honeycomb stencil or whatever. You won't really even notice it back in here. Some of I don't want it up on that though. That's cool. Yep, just a little bit, just enough. Cool. I like that. That is very cool. I wish I could remember where I got these stamps, but I don't remember. And I threw all the packaging away, so I can't tell anybody. 
who made them, what they are. Can't tell you anything because I didn't keep any of the packaging. I was on a mission to get that bedroom cleaned up. And it's pretty good right now. If if they showed up today, um, I'd be okay with her having to sleep in there. Last That's week, good. she couldn't have slept in there. <laughs> but today, she can get in. And um, all right, I'm going to use a different color of the of brown and put a little bit of that crackle in there too but I'm gonna try and keep it all archival so it won't move oh maybe this plum would be nice let's see what it color it is I love these little oh yeah that's a nice color we'll do that introduce a little bit more color hi Devin we're doing mixed media today Amy's here with me this was her project she saw it somewhere we said earlier but now I don't remember so don't ask because I don't know um, but it'll be on the recording what do you need next um, for my page to dry oh well, go ahead and use the heat gun. I'm sorry. Well, no, but then Here. nobody can hear. It, it, they're, they're talking among themselves. They'll talk bad about us regardless, so it's fine. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. And I do clean my stamps and stencils, so shoot me. All right, well, she's doing that. I'm going to trim the edges and kind of get them cleaned up while that dries. What did I do with my scissors? Muji. I love Muji. Well, yeah. I just brought my little pink one. These were really, really cheap at the Muji store. I like the rounded corners too. Yes. The size of this journal is going to be awesome. Normally I work in a little bit larger mm -hmm. journal, but I like this smaller size a lot. I think it's mostly dry. All right, before, um, you, and you know what? If you don't want to do the gel medium, that little bottle right there, okay. I, went, I went ahead and filled with golden matte oh, medium for you. Thank you. Yeah, because this stuff is taking forever. Yeah, use the, um, use the golden. I said, I am really liking the texture, but I don't think I'm liking how long you have to wait for See, it. See, that's just it. So I'm a little impatient. No. Thank you, Elaine. And I did get a little bit of goober on this back page, but that won't bother me. It'll get covered when I do another page, so I'm not really worried about it. Tore it a little bit there. Oh, well. That's life.
normally I would get out the exacto to do this. Mm -hmm. That's all right. There we go. Trimmed out page. Woohoo! All right, Amy's trimming off her edges right now, and so I'll grab her book and, and show you where she's at so you can see each step as we go. Okay, this is Amy Kept the Black Journal, and apparently this was also off Amazon. Don't know the name, whose it was, so... It looks exactly like the one I have, except it doesn't have that index in the front. Yeah, just a different brand. Okay. And so this is hers. The page is a page out of um, Princess Bride, and it's really nice italic. And um, then her the Paris napkin on there. So I love that Paris napkin. I love, love, love that. And you can see through it better than I thought you were going to be able to. But since it's got the writing on it, I didn't want to do the another one of those and just do the whole page like that. So yeah. I was worried you wouldn't be able to see enough of the script. The text yeah. underneath. Yeah. No, it's it looks cool. looks way cool. Okay. Yeah, this still has to dry. That's why that yeah. looks milky down there because that's still a little wet. Yeah. All right. Now I don't – what do you want to do on yours next? If you want to stamp. Mm -hmm. Well, it's still – you, know, you think, think too wet? Like, yeah. Okay. So I think I'm probably, because I just made sure I dried the edges pretty good. Okay. So they're I saying can, beautiful, nice, oh, thanks, nice, thanks, great thanks. job. All right. Now I'm not sure if I want to do a stencil or something. Because, you know, it's kind of just whatever you You know want. what I wish I had? I wish I had a really cool butterfly stencil, but I don't think I do. Let me think. Maybe I do. But I'd want to do it with something transparent, too. I'm thinking out loud. I just need to I have to run back in. Thanks, right Scooby. Here. Nothing. And I think one yeah, this is fun. And it's fun to art with somebody. Um, I mean, I could sit here and do this by myself and badmouth Eileen for three hours, but it's kind of fun <laughs> to have somebody around. I'm trying to think what I would have done with that. I know I have a butterfly stencil somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Um, hey, look at it. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. I think I'm going to do this. I've never used this. I bought this at um, Tuesday morning, but that is the Dutch iris that I was um, talking about for the flowers on the edge. So I think I'm going to do this, but I want it... Um, do I want it right in the center? Do I want it off to one side? I think I kind of want it off to one side. Yeah, I have my finger condom on. Oh, I wonder if I could do the, the stencil with the wax. What do you think? I could. I'm, we're doing it. We're going to try. <laughs> you just um, don't have to. Well, and I might have to, like, if I do the green first, and of course, I'll have limited colors. Let's give it a go. Just be another um, way you can use your wax. Um, I'm going to get out some masking tape here. And tape off the parts of the stencil that I don't want the wax going through. Oh, smart. You thought I was just another pretty face, didn't you? Well, you do have a pretty face. Yeah, she goes around thinking I'm just another pretty face. That I don't have a brain in this head. Get out <laughs> of town. Whatever. All right. There so go. now I have added glue stick to the other glue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to get out of here today. That's all right. I'll be stuck in this chair. I just tell Robert, just bring us two hamburgers when you come. <laughs> <laughs>
I actually was thinking, I don't know why I've been thinking, have you ever had the hamburgers down at um, Woodshed? Yeah. They're good, aren't they? They are. Do you know how many years I've lived here and I'd never, ever had one of those? Years. years. I mean, I literally have only had one in the last six months. Oh, we've eaten them since we moved here. I know. What is wrong with me? <laughs> All right. So I got a tape right there so I don't get green in there. All right. And I'm going to use like a stenciling brush, I think, with the wax rather than my finger. Oh, she's over here huffing <laughs> wax. <laughs> If you, if you catch her with a brown paper bag up to her nose, you know there's a thin of bar wax inside. Oh my god! Oh, it just yeah. This and I've only got the one color green. I might use some of that peacock on the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm gonna use the light green first. All right, we're gonna put this in place. All right, here we go. And that tape should hold it in place. Um, I'm going to use a stencil brush. I'm wondering if I should. Do you remember those makeup brushes, you guys, that we bought? I'm wondering if one of those would work with the waxes. Remember we bought all these makeup brushes? I don't know who all bought them. I did. Um, but one nice thing about them is. Like you've got every different shape, you know, like for a big area, for a small area. I'm thinking I'm going to, and if I ruin it, who cares? I'll just buy another one or I won't. Who cares, right? I don't care if I don't do anything else to this page. This. All right. I'm going to get out my light green wax, which is the mint. Mint right. sparkle? Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. She's using the peacock over there. All right. The waxes are um, a Finnabar product, Art Alchemy, and they smell yummy, and you can colorize anything with them, um, like metal like paper. We're going to see how it works on this. If it works good, we're going to throw a party. If it doesn't work good, we're going to blame Eileen. So it's win-win no matter what. Right. <laughs> and really, you don't need much, you guys. Like a little bit goes a long, long, long way. Don't you find that true, Amy? Oh, yeah. Like a little bit goes a long, long way. This brush for stenciling with it is awesome. And I, uh, we bought these um, brushes. Um, Xandra went to some convention and bought the big brush for like six bucks or something. I don't remember at the time I remembered. But anyway, she bought one of these big brushes. And they're so soft, you guys. Amy, oh, brush no, that. No, no. I use those to put makeup on. Okay. Um, I use them for art since I don't do the makeup, whole makeup thing. But anyway, very often. Um, so we ended up looking on Amazon and found like a whole package of these brushes for practically no money. Um, so we all bought them. And actually, I've got too much wax now, but that's okay. Is there any such thing? What I'm noticing on this is... But you know this journal's going to oh. smell delicious. I'm yeah. sorry. What were you going to say? Where the, well, my napkin has those little, like, swirly things in the the texture. Uh-huh. This highlights it. I know. I was just noticing that that on the um, wrinkles, Yeah. that it, it kind of highlights those wrinkles, which looks really cool. So, yeah. Another use for your makeup brushes. All right, I think that's all that's green. Do you need this one? Because I'm telling you. Um, no, go. I'm going to leave the stencil in the exact same place. Um, and then I'm going to use the dark blue. I should probably get a reference of what the colors are. But I was going to use the um, dark blue for the flower itself.
cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's see. Um, any excuse you can find to sniff those waxes for sure, Devin. <laughs> um, Norma says, I love this set of brushes and found nothing that works better for stencils. I agree, especially with wax, Norma. I'm, I'm so glad I thought of it because I've used these with um, other stuff. Um, and I thought, oh, the makeup um, sponges work just as well. So, you know, why trash out your brushes? So I've used them a few times, but not that much. Um, but now I know I will be using these makeup brushes like a maniac. And if you wash this before it dries, you should, they should be fine. You're over there teaching and I'm just sniffing wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you think you could use these waxes on rubber stamps too? You could, Mindy. Yes, you could. Um, if I was going to do it, you mean use them like a um, stamp pad. I would put a little bit out and brayer it out real, real thin and then use it as a stamp pad. That's what I would do. But Eileen might have a better idea. She has more colors, so she'd probably. Of course, hers went out in the warehouse and maybe have not been used since. So hard to say. All right, I'm going to use both of the blues. I'm going to add that to the grass in okay. just a minute. So I'm going to do the flower first. Yeah, because that totally changed the look of what I had going over here. All right. I'm going to do the. Yeah, it definitely did. And that's what I was kind of hoping that that would kind of. All right. I'm going to do the center in the light blue and then mix it out to the dark blue on the edges. Stevie said, do they have a wax sniffing rehab program? Well, we're not even going to look into it, so exactly. we don't care. I don't want to stop sniffing. <laughs> you have to want to change, CB. I don't think that's in the program here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this spreads these waxes beautifully. Well... I'm so glad I found this stencil. That is awesome. Because it turned, I'm going to have to order some more blue. Look how much blue has gone out of mine. Well, I really, more. really used it. No, I'll just order a new one. I'm well, sure Z will get more in. You've got a lot of use out of it, though. I, mean, I know. I've used the heck out of it. And... You buy it to use it, so you might as well use it, right? Well, yeah. Now, the dark blue is covering up what's underneath it, but the lighter colors, I think, oop, I just went over the green with that duck on it. Um, But the green, you can definitely still see through. So I'm going to have to go over that again with the green. Well, it's not like there's a bad color in the bunch. That's I mean, true. But that is going to be perfect on there. I hope so. CB snipping right. her what? Her black stays on? What did she say? Oh, she's her black stays on. Um, stays on is a name brand of ink pad. Oh, okay. Um, and it's permanent on anything. You can use it on acetate. You can use it virtually on anything. And it smells good. Um, I think it smells disgusting. Most <laughs> people do think it smells disgusting, but CB for whatever reason loves it. So apparently, so does Norma. Yeah. Norma loves it too. Oh my gosh, there's something more about you guys. I'm not a fan of Stazon. It gags me. I have one here. I'll let you smell it in a minute. And you'll, you can decide. Make up your own mind. Judy wants to know what the wax is that we're sniffing. It's Finnebar. Finnebar. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, Art Alchemy. Um, it's You can get it. Um, I don't know if 
I've never looked for it on Amazon because I just told Xander I'd rather buy it from her because I like supporting her little store. You can buy it at Paint and Paper Studio, which is Xander's shop. Joggles has it. Some of the colors are pretty hard to get right now. They're back ordered, but um, apparently it's it's going to be a pretty popular product. So I think you won't have any trouble getting it. Maybe not until August. What would you do with the peacock? Over here. I thought there was all right, I'm going to put the peacock, a little bit of the peacock on the edge of the leaves. Just because it's so gorgeous. It is. It really is. I'm in love with it. I don't even mind if this stain my fingers for like life. Well, that first time I used the blue, I had blue fingers <laughs> for a week. I'm not kidding you. Ooh, smell a vision. That's a good idea. You'll yeah, I wish that. you guys could smell this because it's so delicious. It smells like almond extract. The stays on. Yes, it's gross. Well, see, I love almond though, so well, I might like it. All right, then you'd just be a weirdo like the rest of them. Because I think we're kind of all weird in our own special way. All right, I wasn't. I didn't want a lot of that peacock. I didn't want it to take over because mm -hmm. that is a very powerful color. <laughs> the dark blue and the peacock are really, really powerful colors, you guys, no doubt. So keep that in mind when you're ordering or using that those will take over. But they're so pretty. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let me see if I can grab that stays on pad real quick. All right. There you go. Take a whiff of that. All right, are we ready for the reveal, or should I put some more light blue? I might have overpowered it with the dark blue. I don't know. I'm not sure what almond extract they've been huffing. <laughs> that ain't it, it. it ain't it. You don't like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I don't like it either, and that's why. I mean, the product itself is awesome, like, for what it's designed to do. It does exactly what it says, but... Yeah, this smell. Well, but the when when your project dries, it doesn't stay like oh. this. Where we'll keep the smell, mm -hmm. that won't stay smelly. Well, I was gonna say that might not have smelled so bad if I hadn't been already smelling something that smelled so good. Well, there you go. But everything's relative, isn't yeah. it? CB, did you buy any of these? Should I be concerned that CB and I are thinking a lot alike lately, Branson? We might need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it, if you were even a quarter as sweet as CB is, you would be one lucky woman. CB is an absolute sweetheart. Well, if she was starting to think a lot like Eileen, then we would. I know, then we'd really have to <laughs> worry, wouldn't we? <laughs> okay, so you have about six colors. So you're about where I'm at. I think I have seven now. All right, I'm going to take this up. Here's the reveal. Da, 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 da. I don't want to pull that napkin up, and I'm afraid I'm going to tear it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, baby. That's awesome. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's like you so, planned that. I know, right? And I got a little bit crooked, which I wish I hadn't done, but that's okay. I can deal. I can deal. And it smells so delicious. I know it's. <sighs> All right. I'm wielding this exacto. Somebody's going to get hurt there. <laughs> I've got a couple places at the edge of this stencil where it's kind of thick. I'm going to go ahead and smooth that out so it will dry a little better. It is. You know what? I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it because. Oh, I nice. like it. Yeah, that is. All right. What do you want to do with yours next? Do you mm -hmm. want to do a stencil? Do we want to find a stencil? Yeah, of some kind. I've got my, and I haven't really I've opened this to see lately to see if it's still good. Yeah, it looks wet. Oh, you don't have to worry about stamp pads. We've got plenty, plenty, plenty of stamp pads in every color. Yeah. That's the thing about being down here. We got tons of everything. Well, that's why we came down. Thanks, Galena. Thanks, Joan. When did you order them, Shauna? <coughs> um, 
Devin, I'm not sure. Um, I will definitely leave this journal open for a day or two um, until I know that's completely dry because uh, when I did it on the original book that I used it on, I don't. I guess it was that magical paper journal mm -hmm. that I originally used it on. Um, every time I touch that for like the next two or three days, I it would be waxy on my hands. So um, I would say, you know, put it aside and don't, um, yeah, don't mess with it until a couple days at least. Yeah, I like that little flower in the middle of there. I know All right, well, let's see what kind of um, stencil. Do you want to look through all of them? These are the small ones. I've got big ones, too. I don't need anything real big. I think I just need something to kind of plunk Well, or um, like if you put something in the background, like those background stamps. Um, hang on. I'm going to move this so I can come over here. Because mm -hmm. these are all the smaller kind of stencils. And then in here, there's like background ones, the really small ones. Ooh. So all the leaves might be good in the green wax, in the light green. Hang on, be right back. Okay, here's another mm -hmm. one that might work really well on there. Do you think it's too big though? Well, here's a smaller one. Ooh. I like that. Okay, I have a plan. All right, she's got a plan. Okay, so this one, do you want it back where? Yeah, I just throw them in here. Okay, so there's no rhyme or reason one? for what, how my eye organized. <laughs> <laughs> throw it in there. Figure tomorrow you'll get to that. All right, she's got a stencil. Are you going to use the wax on it? Well, duh. <laughs> just one more reason to use some wax, right? So, Here's the. Um, I'd get a fresh brush, though. I'll get a finger. You're going to do it with your finger? Okay. I'm trying to decide if I want to go with the mint green, which is my least favorite of all the colors. All right. You want to hand it to me so they can see it in stages, and then they can see after you finish doing it? Mm -hmm. oh, careful, because your that wax isn't dry on the edge. That's yeah, right. I took my condom off, so... I'm in danger of. All right, here's Amy. Um, I love a bicycle. Um, and here's some leaf stencils. And these are off the Wish app. I know exactly where I got these. Um, all right, Devin. Hi, Suze. Um, yeah, she's going to use, I think, these little roses and use the wax on it. So, see the how um, powerful that peacock is? I'm going to rub some of that because it's going to be a week drying Yeah. if that, I don't. That's the only thing with using the finger condom thing is it's hard yeah. to... Just spread out. Yeah. yeah. Mostly it's... Um, yeah, you've got it real thin and nice, so not a problem. But look at how powerful that... This is the peacock color, and it's definitely a turquoise, right? Would you call that turquoise? Yeah, but it's got like, in real life, it's got kind of a green and... Green, blue. Yeah, green, yep. blue, turquoise. I mean, it kind of has an iridescent quality. To yeah, it. I would add some of that up into your page and it's going to be awesome. Oh, here's the stencil. I just have to decide what color I'm going to do. All right, I don't know what else I want to do with mine. So the audience needs to start throwing out suggestions or whatever. I'm loving it right now the way it is. I would actually leave it just like that and call it a day. Looks more, okay. Um, Ann is saying, um, no, CB says looks more look blue to you. And it does have some sort of blue. Yeah, it depends on which way the light gets, yeah. honestly. Yeah, it's almost like two-tone. All right, I'm going to put the bronze around the edge. What did I, oh, there's my condom. Do you need more? I've got a whole, i got a crap ton. No, I can reuse that one. I'm just getting some of this junk off my. And if you want to use these brushes, just help yourself. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm just doing the eeny, miny, mo. All right. Condoms are definitely easier to put on when they're rolled up. <laughs> <laughs> we 
have to have a class. Don't do this with your children at home. <laughs> Hi, Louise. <laughs> what do you think I should use for my flowers? What color? I would use the pinks. That's not the sweet, either the sweet rose or the Heather Hills. All right, I have to look at the swatches here. Um, you know what I think I would do? Because those flowers on your basket mm -hmm. have red in them. Yeah. I would maybe use the Indian pink oh. and the Heather Hills or that light pink that I just got today. Yeah, use those. That's going to be really pretty. Well, the Heather Hills is already open. The Sweet Rose is not. Mine's open. Do I, hello. This is coming from the same woman who gave me her brand new birthday present and let me open it. And you don't want to use mine? Have you lost your mind? Are you goofy? No, but that's why I have these. It's oh, hard. my God. She's as hard to get along with as Eileen. I swear to God. Bad. You're bad. There. Thank you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do the edges of mine in the bronze, I think. I think I like the bronze. Yeah. Do you have Fire Ruby? Is that um, the that I got? Is it yeah, the that's the one that Eileen or Amy just got. It's this color. It's kind of, um, depending on which way the light's hitting it, it's red and then brown. Yeah, it's nice. That is a really unique. It is the mixture they got going on there. Oh, I got going over here. No, I think the this is the Indian pink here with this lighter pink down here. I don't have the fire ruby, but it's there's definitely some. But I'm not a huge red lover either. Um, so I'm not sure how much I would use that one. I would definitely use the peacock. I will definitely be ordering that at some point. Um. And then I did go ahead and get the Indian pink, which is the redder color. Yeah, I have one, Suze. That's what we've been laughing about. Amy brought me down a whole bag full of midget condoms. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do my edges. And then if you guys have any suggestions for what over here, I kind of like those drawings in the background. That's why I don't want to um, cover them up. I'm going to do the bronze on the edges, and I'm going to use my finger. This bronze I just got today from Zandra. And if you haven't been to her store, I highly recommend it. Yeah, I would have brought bought mine from there. My sister bought mine for me without. For birthday, yeah. Yeah. Well, and then for several weeks, and that was one of the things I think I told you, Xander didn't have them in. She was ha waiting for a reorder. So, um, but I just decided I'd go ahead and wait. And in the meantime, I went to Hobby Lobby and spent a ton of money. <laughs> <laughs> but I have not been ordering off Amazon. So, um, Louise, this is the um, finger condom that um, we're talking about. It's just, um, let me see here. It's to protect your fingers. Um, this wax is, um, glorious, but yeah, it's amazing. But if you get it on your fingers, it takes a while. Like the surface amount comes off, but then it stains your fingers and your fingers are blue or whatever color the rest of the week and I'm not kidding usually when I wash my hair just about anything I have on my hands comes off and not even if it's been there for a day but that paste it did not come off my fingernail and my nail for oh at least a week Oh, that bronze is so nice. Oh, I already got my ribbons dirty. Oh, well. The what? The ribbons on the book, your page markers. Oh. Yeah, see, I forgot to move them. 
So they've already got dirt on them. Yeah. And this page now has dirt on it because my hands are dirty. Oh. Dennis the Menace here. I guess I could try and protect the book a little, right? Why would you do that? Yeah, it kind of takes away half the fun. And these are just a little bit shimmery. How did, Amy, how did you get the finger condoms in bulk? Because she raises a house full of midgets. No, I don't know. <laughs> it was either, it was Wish, I think. It was either Wish okay. or Amazon. Those there you go. The only two places. I mean, honestly, if I had to go one first, I would probably go to Amazon because that's just where I tend to order. Well, and then you get to see Hunky UPS. Well, yeah. So, see, that's another thing living out here. That would That's the advantage of ordering online. Hunky UPS delivers it. Yeah, the brown on the edge is perfect. Perfect. You know, I've got some stems in this, but I'm not going to try to make them green because that's too much work. Well, you can always go over back over them later with something else yeah. if you decide you want them green. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this color, the um, Indian pink or whatever it was, is Gorgeous. Yeah. I think it dries if it's the one I'm thinking. See, I can't keep the colors straight. Oh, yeah. I think it dries darker than it looks when you put it down. Oh, and I'm taking some off the edges because I am such a messy crafter. Do you need a baby wipe? No. Okay. Yeah, the brown or the bronze. I think the bronze is as close to brown as you're going to get. And I don't mind a little bit of metallic um, shimmer of them. Because it's not just overpowering. There's the page. Are these permanent? Yes, they are. They are permanent when dry. And kind of permanent when not dry. <laughs> like You're not going to move them too much. Got messy, messy hands. Messy, messy. That is messy. Thanks, Scooby. Yeah, I'm really glad I found that iris stencil. I had completely forgotten that I'd had that when I said about those reminding me of the Dutch iris. And then I had the stencil. Go figure. But yeah, I'll have to leave this open and let it dry. I'm not sure what I want to do on this side because right now I fully recognize that the page is totally out of balance. I have not gotten any spoons, um, Sue's. I thought I had answered that, but yeah, I have not gotten any spoons from you. I did get the spoons, but they weren't um, from you. So, yeah, um, oh, I'm buffering. Put a quote on the left side. Okay, yeah, that's kind of a good idea. Is Amy look at the that screen and see if um it looks okay? Like mm -hmm. all right. Let me see if I hit this one and go live if I'm still buffering. All right, so I need to look up a butterfly quote. I'll just ask I'll, in chat. What do you What were you going to ask? Uh, baby wipes so I can clean your stencil. Oh. 
you want to throw it over here and I'll just, I'll end up putting them in the sink before the day is done. Um, but I can wipe it for you. I just didn't want to let it. Let the wax dry on there. Buffering off and on, but short. Okay, mine is just like continuous buffering. So, um, it's not over here. Okay. Then we're just going to soldier on. I don't know why I'm buffering. That's your sweet rose, so I don't steal that. There was a lot of wax on the underside. Wastage. Yeah, it's kind of hard sometimes. Yeah. That's why I think maybe using a brush yeah. um, might work. Mm -hmm. um, because that's going to take a while to dry too. Yeah. Which is fine. Open, yeah. I mean, no big deal. Um, but just be aware that that's... Um, Okay. Joan's saying she keeps getting buffering. Now I'm not buffering. So you guys, I think the buffering honestly is a YouTube problem. And I think it's kind of universal. Um, somebody was saying they had buffering at Dee Dee's this morning. I had not even one instance of buffering. So I don't know, but I kind of think it's a YouTube problem. Do you want me to show it to him? Oh, sure. I was just admiring. <laughs> it is. It's pretty. There's the um, roses with the wax. That's so cute. And the little girl up there. Um, she's wanting to pop up. I know. That's that little I girl. At her. I'm going to have to. Yeah. Um, I have some double-sided tape if you want to try it. I've got some of that. That's so pretty. Yeah, it's my thing over there. They say I'm pretty, Amy. Oh, thanks. Thanks. It smells it's, so good. It, it, it does. Let me get another baby wipe. Do you need a baby wipe? I okay. She's answering no buffering there. So thanks, Scooby. Um, thanks, Scooby. I, I have to come up with a quilt. Oops. And um, oh, thank you so much. How, decide how I want to put it on there. Because right now, with this being wet, I have to be a little bit careful um, what I use around it, right? Mm. Um, so, and even here in the middle of the page, I've got a little bit of that wax. So be careful because you will get smearage. Because <laughs> I've got it everywhere. I mean, it'll be on my sheets before I go to bed tonight. I'm pretty certain of that. I'm sure it's all on my underwear already. Well, that's I've got it on my arms where I lean across the page. <clears throat> Thanks, Michelle. Yeah, it'll be everywhere. All right. I will decide on a quote. Just wiping this off. I will put this in the sink and wash it. Um, all right. I'll get my fire out here and look for... I can either have a inspirational quote. Um, here's Google. I like Google search. Bye, Louise. Now on my, oh, you know what? Let's see, I bet my settings reset. They did. If you get a blurry picture, you guys, remember to go in and go into your settings and um, go up into an HD um, number and your picture will clear up. Okay, I'm going to look for a butterfly quote first because um, the whole page was kind of started out. Um, all right, I'm going to look at images. There's some really cute ones. Um, Robert Frost said butterflies, flowers that fly and all but sing. Um, lessons from a butterfly. Life is short. Spread your wings and fly. 
Um, don't quit before the miracle happens. I don't know why I'm having a terrible time reading this. I looked for short ones, you know, because I, I don't have a whole lot of room there. So I wanted something really short. Live your life like a butterfly. Take rest for a while, but never forget to fly. I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. If nothing ever changed, there would be no butterflies. I like that, too. <laughs> What's Eileen saying now? You like the rock? Do fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> She's just ornery all the time. Mm -hmm, pretty much. Yeah. Well, there it is. It's right there. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Um, spread your wings and fly. I like that one. Okay. But I kind of like that one. Wish upon a butterfly. What's this one say? This one's real plain and simple. I don't know why. This is so blurry. I can't read it. It's almost like this stupid thing hitting it on its head. I don't think helped it at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's I'm starting to wonder because I'm pushing buttons and nothing happened. Robert spilled coffee on his computer. It quit working. And then he just thought he'd turn it back on and try it. And it's been working for days now. So oh, really? go figure. Yeah. Well. He didn't even have sound on it. And then it started working. So go figure. Yeah, I mean, it is working. All right, let me use Safari. Maybe it just doesn't like using Google. Can you make another live chat? <coughs> um, you can pop it out. And um, I'm not sure if that's what you mean. Um. And get it bigger if the, but no, there's only one um, chat per video. I didn't want butterfly images. I wanted butterfly quotes. God. Yeah, butterflies are flying flowers, Eileen says. Actually, that works out good because we have the butterflies and the flower. Mm -hmm. So maybe I just need to do that. Now I've got to decide, do I want to do it in my own handwriting? Um, do I want to do a stencil? Um, there's a ton of ways you can get words onto your page. If, you, if I wasn't on stream, you could um, print them out on your printer and then glue them down. Um, I kind of like my words direct on the page. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and write it myself, but it's going to piss Eileen off because I'm going to use a ruler. Use a ruler? That's, when you're writing letters, you just about have to. I think so, too, you, to get it straight. Because that's and, just what I'm sitting here thinking. I'm going to um, probably... Go to DA fonts to find a font that I want for this page and print out life is a journey so that I can do different font sizes. Oh, that's awesome. And then I can use my new erasable graphite. Oh, Amy brought me some erasable graphite, which is really cool, too. I think I'm going to do brush lettering, but I'd like to get this while we're on stream. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and get out a ruler. And um, it's. Um, four words. Butterflies are flying flowers. Okay. So I've got eight and a quarter inches to work with. Um, I'm definitely going to not use, I've got probably five inches in the center. Mm -hmm. So 
And I know she's shitting her pants right now. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes it worth it. You know, you probably don't need to use that ruler half as often as you do. But if Eileen's here, you're going to use it regardless. Well, duh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello, McFly. <laughs> she said, wake her up. She has done with that thing. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm going to do say that the center is just about four inches. Um, and I need space. But, well, this is how you have to do it, right? It is. Yeah. Really? Like I need four lines. Beautiful Butterflies are flying flowers. So um, I don't want them real big. That's mm -hmm. going to be the center. So that will be. I'll come up an eighth on each side. Um, I'll try and do my lettering because I'm going to do brush lettering. One, two, three, four. Yeah, see, I have to do about a half an inch because I just don't have that much room. Right. Well, and that's why I'll go to DA fonts and print out so I can do different font sizes and center it right where I want it. See? And then trace it. You so. get it, man. <laughs> Some people just don't freaking get it. And then if you have to use the ruler to get them straight. <laughs> okay. Butterflies are flying flowers. Oh, Louise wants to know about your finger condom. Um, just look at that thing on your finger. Yeah, it's just to protect my finger, to keep it clean so that I don't stain my finger with the waxes. Um, I'm just thinking whether or not I like that. It's not going to be, I'm not going to be able to do it real big, but that's okay. That, I'm going with that spacing. Eileen can just get over her bad self. She said, just write it on there. You're not doing a masterpiece to hang in a museum. <laughs> you know what she can do. <laughs> Will you loan her a finger cut? <laughs> Um, now, see, Eileen, you made me screw up because now I have a quarter inch in the center and only an eighth of an inch in the other places. Now I have to redo it. And it's your fault because I probably was worried about something stupid you'd say. And now I don't have it right, so I'm going to fix it. And I have to find an eraser. <laughs> it smells so good. I know. Still. All right, I'm going to use the quarter inch because I have room. So, um, oh, then start the page all over again. Good, great. No. Okay, so there's that. There's a quarter inch. One, two, three, four. All right, there's my half inch. There's my quarter inch. One, two, three, four. All right. Does Eileen ever stream? No. And you can tell by her obnoxious attitude that she doesn't. <laughs> but boy, she doesn't have any problem telling me what to do. Right, right. Or Jen. <laughs> but one thing I have to say, and I hate saying this out loud when she's in the room. Eileen has some amazing ideas. So sometimes. So, yeah. Well, that's why I come over here so you can help me figure out what to do. Well, you chances are too. everything I learned, I learned from Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Eileen streamed three times. Well, hot. Three times. Okay. She did. You know, when Jen came to town, well, you no, know, I didn't know you then. When our friend from Australia came, mm -hmm. she was traveling around meeting a bunch of us bibs and so when she was at eileen's house she did she streamed well, from eileen's house but eileen barely got on camera and barely said five words Ugh. and then eileen says that and this was before i was a part of the group um they did like a secret sister um i lost my mark they did a secret sister giveaway thing, and Eileen had streamed hers. Oh, streamed hers. So, um, 
technically she says she streamed, but I think if I didn't see it, then it didn't happen. Let me see. You did? Why didn't Lane send him up here to at least say hi? Well, if Lane wasn't at the house, he just rings my doorbell and leaves the packages oh. outside in the carport. Oh, bummer, dude. So what'd you order? What's sitting down at your house waiting for you? Okay, you know I like pens and ink. And <laughs> no. Like, and the correlation to that is I love paper. I, I, I get the illness, man. I have it. And so I have a couple of notebooks that I gave you one brand that I really love. The, um, Mikel Ruiz. But yeah. And there's this other one that's just a, um, and I can't remember the brand, but the paper in it is just one of those. You, I just. Love so you've got a on. journal coming. Well, it's, it's, it's just loose paper. Okay. Well, it's, so, and I can, and it, the outside is kind of that plastic. So I'm not crazy about the outside, but I'm thinking I'm going to have to play and put stuff on. There you go. See, there's always a way around it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Brenda. Haven't seen you in about forever. All right. What color do we want? The lettering. I'm thinking probably black. I think this touch. This will be a good size because I can't write real big. So after I did the advertisement for the touch pen, I think I will go ahead and use it. And I'm not sure, but I kind of think this is permanent too. It won't be right now, but I'm going to do a little test. Do you think black? Yeah, that'd go because you've got the darker colors. Yeah, I think it's going to be black. Hi, coloring with D. I'm not Hi, sure what D. her name is. I just call her D. D. I think I'm sure I've heard her name, but I don't know where my little, there it is. Okay, yeah, after it, that dries for a day or two, that would be permanent. So, um, good choice, good choice. Butterflies are flying flowers. All right, I'm going to write it out in pencil first. I know that'll annoy, annoy her too, but. Coloring with D is Donna, but she says there's so many, D is fine. Well, I can probably remember D because that's in the name on the screen. So, <laughs> Donna, I can remember that. Maybe. I just like D. I always like just using the names that people give themselves on screen. Mm -hmm. So... Oops, that one I know I put over too far. Probably might want to move that again. Okay, and Cheshire Cat, I call her Cat, but your name's Darlene, right? Yeah, Dar. And the reason I say that is because that's my middle name. Darlene is your middle name? Mm -hmm. I had a real good friend in Texas named Darlene. Well, I loved her. She lives um, really not too far from us now over in Missouri. A girl used to party like a maniac. Oh, my God. And then she just one day decided she wasn't going to do it anymore. And now she's just like the straightest arrow on the planet. Oh, wow. She makes me look like a freak. <laughs> <I'm not> kidding. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and start lettering this. Hopefully, we'll be able to see it with all this crap going on in the background. Shauna said, you are a freak. <laughs> <laughs> Takes one to know one. Yeah, isn't that the truth? 
Oh yeah, you can see that real well. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay. Can't talk, writing. can't type watching. <laughs> so I'll let that dry real good. I don't know why it's smeared right in there, but it's fine. Um, I'm okay with it. All right. And it dries good so that I can erase the background really good. Cool. 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 Might have to go in and do a little bit of touch up, but that's okay. I'll let it dry a little bit before I do the erasers. Thanks, Dorothy. Yeah, I like it. I'm tickled that we did the wax through the stencil. And I love the blue napkin that Amy provided. So I'm liking it a lot. It was fun. It was way fun. So there you go. If Z, if you watch the whole thing, you got to see me end up doing the brush lettering. Thanks, Eileen. So I did see where Debbie said she was um, out and about today and would not be streaming in Jean's normal um, time. So you would have thought the quote came before the butterfly and the flower. I know, right? Kia, sometimes a plan just falls together. I don't even know how to describe it, but this one I'm happy with. I love this. So I guess this will be my new smaller art journal, um, which I'm okay with because this size opened up is awesome. It's perfect. Um, yeah, she said she's streaming tomorrow. This this week I'm going to be really busy. I really am. I've got to get everything ready for the kids. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to be busy, but I, I might be able to be in streams, but I'll be cleaning and I'm going to do some pretty deep cleaning before they get here. Um, or I might not, who, who knows, but it's about 10 and a quarter inches wide. So it's smaller than an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper and eight and a quarter this way. So um, 
Yeah, it's a great size. It's smaller than a um, copier sheet. Is Lena going to stream tomorrow? I don't know, CB. Um, yeah, I don't know if Lena will stream. I hope she does because she cracks me up. Like she is one funny, funny woman. So let me go ahead and pull Amy's back over here. Um, I'm going to take off my little finger condom here. And she's going to add a, a quote to hers. Yeah, life is a journey. Um, and th that'll say, you're going to put it down here, right? Mm -hmm. And um, she'll say life is a journey on hers, which this is really cute too. I just love that napkin. That's so pretty. So we got some journal pages done. Oh, Lena's here. Is Lena here? Oh, Lena said, I think she is. So Lena's streaming. Do you know what Lena's channel is? I don't think so. Oh, you have to watch Lena. Okay. I try um, to watch everybody. I, I know. And did I give you the link to all the streamers? Yes. Yeah. And, and I haven't looked at it to see if it's accurate, but I'll definitely make sure you've got Lena's. Um, Try to connect to my mess over here. A colorful life, and Janet will get you drawing without you knowing, too. Yeah, because I'm a firm believer that any person, I don't care who you are, is able to draw. And we've done some beginning drawing lessons um, that proves. I mean, and I think Julie, her name is not Topaz, is a perfect example of a person who said, Oh, I can't draw, I can't draw. And now look at her. I mean, she's. She doesn't even realize um, how well she's drawing. She's adding perspective now, mm -hmm. um, depth. Like Julie doesn't even know how much she's improved. It's just happened um, because she's persistent. She's kept with it. So oh, that's awesome. Hey, Lena, that peacock wax is awesome. The peacock wax is awesome. But I think I have a new favorite. Like used to be my favorite was the dark blue and i still love the dark blue but this bronze i'm thinking the bronze may be my new favorite oh really i think so i like it a lot yeah on the edge of this page i just think it it's there it's so subtle and you don't really see it there but it just frames it perfectly it's awesome but the best thing about the whole page honest to god are these flipping napkins right here? Oh, thank you. Oh, you don't have to do me. Well, you all can of share those. them whenever you send okay. stuff out to people or whatever. All right. Okay. He's given us some napkins to share, these Paris napkins. I will definitely be doing a Paris page. Probably in this journal. Oh, here's some of those. Oh, thanks. These I probably won't share because I don't think I like you guys that much. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Thanks, Scooby. But yeah, we can do some beginning drawing again someday because i'm a firm believer that everybody can draw and if you can afford it your kids won't starve um order up some waxes oh my gosh yeah <laughs> i mean they could eat sandwiches for has years. amy done one too a journal page i just showed it yeah i just showed amy she amy's was the one with the bicycle and this one's mine. Amy, but Amy brought me down the journal. She gave me the journal. She brought the napkins. She let me open all of her waxes. And um, yeah, we'll all find those containers, Amy, and we'll figure out if we can share yeah. some of these waxes. Well, I don't so well, as long as it's you know sealed good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. And I actually have the little bottles that the um, Magicals came in. I wonder if those would be airtight enough. Well, you think they would. They screw on. Yeah. Okay. So those I know I have. We can clean those up. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh, this one's mine. What now? Amy's packing up her junk like she's eager to get her ass out no, of here. No, I'm just trying to not leave a mess over <laughs> no, here. I'm just bugging her. I don't care. The rat won't be home for a couple hours. So anyway... I'm going to call it a day. I love those napkins so much. 
And I don't know, since I won't be able to art the rest of the day, I may just sit here and art some more, but oh boy, do I have a mess. Oh, yeah, I felt so bad for Lena and the flooding. Yeah, it's there's nothing you can do. And I've had water in this basement, what, three different times for three different reasons. It wasn't even the same thing. One of them was a pipe um, between the house and the septic. Um, and then the two other, well, yeah, two other times it was both rain, but different places that it was getting in. So, yeah. But after all this rain that we've had, my basement is absolutely completely dry so I can put new flooring down there. And I've been waiting a year to do that. So, Eileen said, thanks for streaming, Janet and Amy. It was great until the ruler came out. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think I'd hit her with a ruler at some point in time, right? You know, like kids who went to Catholic schools are scared to death of rulers. Maybe that's the problem. Eileen, did you go to Catholic school? Did they hit you with rulers? Or just anywhere did she get beaten with one? Yeah, did somebody at some point hit you with a ruler? I got bonus points for using rulers in school, I guess. So thanks for coming, you guys. She said no, so there. <laughs> uh, well, thanks for letting me come and play with your stuff again. Well, you know you're welcome anytime. Okay, we're going to call it a day here. And um, sometime um, when Amy comes up, we're going to decorate the outside of our journals yeah. with the um, duct tape. Don't forget to take your duct tape. Well, keep that here because it goes with that journal. Well, no, I'm not. Okay, I'll leave it here. That's the whole reason I bought it. All right, you guys. I'm going to call it a day. Adios, ladies. Bye, see ya. Oh, we forgot to show them this. If you guys, wait, if you haven't left yet, um, Amy um, went on, she didn't go to Hobby Lobby for the sale, but she went online, and apparently they're having Hobby Lobby online sale too. Everybody's saying goodbye. Yeah. So I just wanted to show you real quick. She got this um, planner. 40% off or more. 40 or more percent off on all Hobby Lobby stuff online with these little. Um, no, I had to buy the folder set. She had to buy these separate. But you said what? They're five they're bucks? Like, those are like 2 dollars I think. 2 dollars And then these stickers are like yeah. fold out. Are those the ones? Yeah, all of them are. You pull it out. Yeah. You... Well, I'm kind of afraid to touch it because my no, hands are so nasty. Don't worry. Just... Okay. Yeah, they're like dimensional stickers. I want some of those. So, yeah, if you didn't get to Hobby Lobby, go online. Apparently, they're having clearance there as well. Yes. So, this is a very nice journal for like, what would you say, five bucks or I something? Think it's $5 .99, I think Yeah. So, Galena says she's been eyeing that up. It's undated. So, just any time. Love yeah. that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. She brought it up. So if you don't have a Hobby Lobby, go online. Apparently, they're having a great sale there, too. Yeah. And I have to go back to Joplin this week <laughs> for groceries, I think. So who knows what I'll end up with. Okay. That was all. I just forgot that we were going to show that online. Go ahead, it did. So now we are really bailing on you guys. <laughs> we'll see you later. Adios. Bye-bye. <laughs>